Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's January 22nd, 2021. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A leftist cardinal is blasting bishops for criticizing Joe Biden. On Wednesday, Chicago's Blaise Supich took to Twitter to complain about the U.S. bishop's condemnation of Biden for his views on gender, homosexuality, and abortion. Quote, Today, the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops issued an ill-considered statement on the day of President Biden's inauguration. Meanwhile, Biden is touting his so-called Catholicism. Featured prominently behind his desk now in the Oval Office is a photo of him with Pope Francis. The pontiff issued warm congratulations to the pro-abortion Democrat Wednesday while avoiding addressing his support of abortion and LGBT ideology. While Biden continues his claims to be a devout Catholic, he's preparing sweeping measures to expand abortion and gay rights. In the meantime, he's already redecorating his office with socialist memorabilia. Yesterday, photos revealed a bust of Marxist-minded farm labor leader Cesar Chavez, a Catholic. The bust replaces one of Sir Winston Churchill, which Trump had placed next to his desk. Critics are puzzled at Biden's move, specifically because Chavez, much like Trump, staunchly opposed illegal immigration. The Democrat Speaker of the House is attacking pro-lifers for supporting Trump. On a podcast with Hillary Clinton this week, Nancy Pelosi made a swipe at Catholics, claiming they're selling out democracy over the abortion issue. The pro-abortion Catholic went on to call Trump's Supreme Court picks a dog whistle to get the faithful to oppose Pelosi's impeachment efforts. Unlike the Democrats, a federal court is protecting Catholics' religious liberty. In a decision issued one day before Biden took office, a district court ruled in favor of the Religious Sisters of Mercy and agreed Obamacare cannot be used to force them to cover transgender sex change surgery. The court permanently bans the Department of Health and Human Services from using Obamacare to force Catholics to cover these procedures. The Patriot Party has officially formed. Its brand new website lists goals of the party, including constitutional conservatism, restoring morals and ethics, and promoting family values, among other things. It comes days after President Trump discussed the possibility of breaking with the GOP to form a third party after numerous Republicans sold out and failed to back him in his fight for election integrity. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about the illegitimate election of Joe Biden. God bless you.